All right, well, DJI did it again. Another update. So let's check this one out. So this is update version 01.00.0340. So in this latest firmware update, they've added a total of seven items. I'll only be focusing on two of them, which is obstacle avoidance and the new zoom mode. This will now allow you to zoom up at two times with 4K and up to four times with the 1080p. However, the frame rates are limited. I'm just gonna go over a couple of the things here. Mainly the ones that uh, people are most interested in, which is the zoom option, obviously, and this new Ape Pass. So come in here to obstacle avoidance action. When bypass is enabled, the aircraft automatically bypasses detected obstacles or hovers. I would prefer to have control over it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the brake on. I'd rather it just stop. And so we'll go ahead and test that real quick. Yeah, seems to work, just like before. Um, we'll try the other option. Oh, that turns sideways flight off. So now if I sit here and I hit the stick, I can't go left or right, which I don't really like that feature. I'm not sure why you'd want that. But anyways, the big one, the zoom. We'll go ahead on up. I figured I'd pick something interesting. You can kind of see it from the camera's point of view, how far out there it is. It's across the freeway. I'm gonna zoom in there a little closer. Okay, so I'm recording in just regular 4K, 30 frames a second. We'll stop that, come up here. Now you got 4K wide or 4K zoom. And that's what that looks like. You also have a control on the screen. Oh, that's cool. So you can go in two times now. That's what it looks like again. And I'm not moving. So now let's try. 2.7 has its own zoom rates. Try 2.7. There's regular. So 2.7 looks like it goes two times. Now, when you come to 1080p, let's check that out. That's normal right there. We'll go ahead and zoom all the way in. Now you have a four times zoom. That's sweet. Zoom out again. Show you my actual distance here. And I want to go back to 4K because 4K wide, I guess that's just standard 4K wide. When we go to 4K zoom, you see it jumped in a little bit. Uh, 4K zoom's pretty dang close. I'll leave it on 4K zoom. And I'll switch it to 1080p zoom. And let's see. Okay, so that's the wide shot. Let's zoom in. 
Oh yeah, four times zoom is better. Definitely notice the movements a lot more. This is an old smelter. All right, guys, that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and record in 1080p. I'm pretty happy with the 4K results. When I heard you could only zoom in two times on 4K, I was like, oh, that's weak, but it's actually a pretty good zoom. Very impressive. So I'm guessing that's, that's what you'd normally see without a zoom. See if I can get in a brighter spot here. Okay, so there I am, centered. That's without a zoom. Now check it out. 2.1, three times, four times zoom. That is cool. Especially when I want to get close to animals and stuff. I really like that. Oh, and you could just tap it to go through the zoom too. You can either slide your finger or tap it. There's back to normal. So as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I should have some more videos coming out later on this week. So thanks a lot, everybody.